Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today for a Black Friday unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So if you noticed from the intro, um, these next five days are just a little bit of I'm celebrating kind of my birthday and I'm also giving back. And so there's actually going to be two videos today. And so make sure that you watch the next video that I will be putting out. It's not going to be this one today, but there will be a giveaway and you will want to make sure to enter for that one. Um, I will be doing videos all this week. Um, the for just through Friday, Friday is actually my birthday. Um, I will be doing a live stream in the morning. I will give you guys some more information um, soon, but today we are looking at this Black Friday release, which is Evening Melodies. And this is by Abraham Hunter. It is a 36.6 inch by 27.6 inch or a 93 centimeter by 70 centimeter. And I thought this one was just gorgeous. Um, if you've been following along, I've, I just, um, you know, I've said that the more that I've diamond painted, the more that I realize I really like the darker colors, um, like working with the darker drill colors. Um, I don't know. That's just a personal, personal thing, but I thought this was so pretty. It reminds me of the mountains. I think Abraham Hunter just is an amazing artist. So with the diamond art club box. If you're unfamiliar with them, um, they do have a blue square to tell you that this is a square diamond kit. And then this is kind of your typical box. You've got your instructions, your kit contents. Um, and down here you have a little QR code for 10% off. Now I do have um, an affiliate code, which is Emeralds 10, that can get you $10 off your first purchase. Um, so if you've never purchased there before and that works out that $10 off is a good deal for you, um, it is Emeralds 10. But here is the kit. And then we have our um, toolkit, which this is the one of the older kits, um, a typical square kit. You've got your pen, your boat, you've got your tweezers, which you only get in the square kit. Um, you get a skinny four placer, your wax hearts, a soft squishy for your pen, and a whole bunch of baggies. You also get this little small sticker. And I'm just going to put this on the bottom of my box. You can really do whatever you want with these stickers. Some people make them into cover minders. Some people put them in their log books. You know, the <laughs> it's limitless. Whatever you want to do with it, you can. Um, so inside of our kit, which this is a big kit, which I already knew, but still, <laughs> I think sometimes it's like, wow, actually that is a really big one. We've got our typical Diamond Art Club canvas, which is just superior quality. Um, there's only a few canvases, I believe that I feel like rival. And, um, so you've got this, this scalloped edge with the poked um, to stop it from fraying. Really the only other company that I feel like matches the soft quality of this canvas is Diamond Shop, um, who have recently switched over their canvases. But, wow, <laughs> this is going to be really pretty. You guys, does this night sky not just look magnificent already not even drilled there's this little campfire so one thing about me i said that i was gonna like include some little tidbits about myself during the birthday week so you can get to know me a little bit better i am from utah and growing up in utah my grandpa had a cabin um this is a cabin that he himself built a two mile dirt road up to this cabin he built the cabin himself as well as a retaining pond, um, a bridge over the river. He built the entire complex for him. That was both, I think, his joy and his hobby. Um, and I feel like this picture reminds me so much of going to, up to that cabin um, as a young child. You know, there was the river, there's the trees, just the magnificent blue sky. There was, of course, like no service up there or anything like that. Like you were totally in the mountains. And 
Um, it was one of those things where like we'd go up for maybe like a week or two up to this cabin um, once a year when I was, was a child, but um, definitely was a big part of growing up. And this just honestly, like I said, reminds me so much of that outdoor wilderness and the beautiful sky with all the stars. And especially the river, we loved the river. Like we did tubing down it. We did, you know, we had um, a zip line that went across it. Just so many fun things. I think that the fire that they have going on right here is going, it's, you know, obviously this is a controlled fire in case you're <laughs> aboard there. Um, there's a little bit of a fire pit and you can kind of see a tent here. Um, and it's, I love the glow that it's giving off. And I don't know what the ABs are going to be in this kit, but um, I can see so many opportunities for gorgeous um, AB placement. So we're going to look at that. But of course, on the kit, you do get right here, it gives you a little bit of an image. And then you have the licensing, which I like. You can tell when, when companies license their artists, the artists get paid because they're very proud of it and they put it on their canvases. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me, can you tell me if this site has licensed artwork? And, um, you know, I can't find anything about it anywhere. And I, I usually tell people, if you don't see it, you know, if you don't see the artist listed front and center, or you don't see some sort of artist, you know, about the artist or anything like that, then it's most likely not licensed. They are, they are not paying the artist for the image. But this also shows that it comes with a lifetime guarantee. Now, if you see any sort of wrinkles in this or anything like that, that's just the plastic cover. Um, inside the kit, you do get this little blue um, information sheet, which in the newer kits, um, well, in, in some of the, the newer Harry Potter releases and the Warner Brothers releases, you got a glimpse of the new step-by-step -step instructions, but as far as that one goes, that's what you're gonna see probably for a while. You also get, your um, legend. I love that they include a large picture. I love looking at it just to get a good reference. Now I do think that this image, um, you do already get a good, good, quite a good look at what is going on just from um, how well it's printed. But then you have these, um, the numbers. So we have got 31 colors, which I love. I really do love um, Anywhere from like 30 to 40 colors is kind of my sweet spot as far as the amount of colors in a kit. But these are individual stickers. And then um, it looks like we do have two ABs in this kit. So we have got 132 and 133. Anything below the number 150 in Diamond Art Club's um, DMC codes is an AB. So, and then of course you've got the two legends on either side of the kit. And they do have, it looks like one number out of place. So that's the one thing I always look at, or no, two. Um, see, that's just mean. <laughs> a seven with an eight. But um, I really do prefer when diamond painting companies would keep the top 10 at least, where the numbers on the side um, match at least with the symbol. So they're not off from the symbol number. Just because this whole sticker comes off, you're going to have an eight by a seven. And it can buy, kind of be confusing when you also have an eight as a symbol. Um, but that's one thing that um, I think is more complicated and I think they make it work when they can. I don't know if they, <laughs> you know, that's a very top priority. So we have got our drills. And did you notice something as well? There is no 310 in this kit. That is crazy. Now I am a personal lover of 310, but there is <laughs> no 310 in here. So we're gonna have dark colors. We're gonna have 3371, a dark, dark brown. That's probably gonna be our, oh, 939 is gonna be our dark, our majority dark color. So we'll see how many bags of that we have. Okay, now I will be going through the drills. If you don't like this part, you can always skip over it, but we will be looking at the ABs um, and then finding out where those go. But starting off, we have a three bags of 336. We have got one, two, three, four, five bags of 939. And then we've got one, two, three, four, 
five bags of 823. We have got three bags of 792. And then we have got three bags of 3371. We then have one, two, three, four, four bags of 336. Was that already in here? So yeah, so we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags total, I think of 336, this lovely blue, dark blue. Then we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of 312. We have got two bags of 934, this dark green. We've got two bags of 938. Um, four bags of this 803 and one bag of this 355, a reddish brown. We've got a little side packet of 677 and then two bags of 975. Hey, we still haven't seen the ABs, so there's not going to be very many. We're getting to the small amount of zeros. We have got two bags of 898, a bag of 322, we've got 301, 780. 3051, 3807, 782, and then we come to our first AB. So it has that Aurora Borealis coating on it or that shimmer iridescent glow on it. And that's 132. We've got 733. We've got 3325, 3853, 798, or 799. I can read numbers, 976, 3776, 742, 743, 133. So this is our second and final AB. It's this kind of reddish orange. We've got 935 and 712. So those are your um, ABs. And if we look at where these ABs are placed, they're number one and number two. I do like that when Diamond Art Club sticks to the A's being just the numbered at the top. Um, you can see right here in this orange bit right here where these, where you're going to get that those twos. So you're going to get orange right here and then in the orange right here, especially around the little fire that's going. And then there's going to be some in the reflection of the light right here in the tree. And then the number one is going to be, which was the more, um, the more orange, orange, light orange, I guess, um, is going to be all through here sprinkled in down here. Um, in the water that's reflecting, in the lighter parts right here, um, all through. So you're going to have the lighting is going to be really, really beautiful. Um, now, let's see. Where are the parts that I was thinking that I would just, I think it needs a little bit of um, shimmer added, <laughs> is I do think that the reflection of the moon right here in the water could use a little bit of um, maybe not the 141 if that's not because it looks like they don't have any 3865 in this kit which is a typical white or 5200 so these light colors are going to be kind of really light blues um, or creams and so maybe um, I will find the creams to see if I can get those to get in maybe some of this this reflection in the water as far as the moon maybe up here and then um i think you could really do something with this fire pit because when i think you're looking at it um that's something that really stands out as like a focal point in it besides um the sky now one thing that i think would be really neat that i've done with a lot of my other kids is that i love adding sometimes crystals to the sky for all of these little um, spots that it looks like are not ABs, but I think that they will be, um, it looks like we've got eight and we've got five. 
Um, we've got F. So that's 712, 3325, and 799, which are all colors I think you could get ABs or crystals in or a close match. And so I think that that would be um, something really pretty to add to this sky um, or even like a little bit of it in here. Now there is a ton, a ton of like bulk colors, like I said, but this is going to be an extremely confetti heavy kit. Let me show you up here. Can you see how you've almost got a checkerboarded L and M here? And um, you're gonna have almost a checkerboard of an R and M there. When you get down into these trees, you're going to have a ton of um, confetti. So um, even though this kit only has 31 colors, I do not think you're going to have a ton of bulk multi-placing. Um, the only place I can really see it happening is a little bit of a spot right here where there's these arrows. There is a large spot right here of K's, um, which will be the 939. But other than that, this is going to be a confetti heavy piece. So if that's not your thing, that's one thing to look at. If that's your thing, then this kit looks like it might be perfect for you. If you like dark colors and confetti, this one <laughs> is a kit for you. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in another video shortly. And um, I hope you have a great day. Bye.